Hello everyone, welcome back to Survival Challenge on No Man's Land. So, new day, we, we are in March now. As you can see, the soybeans are starting to come up, so we should, in theory, actually be able to fertilize it this time. But, we're going to hold on with that for a second. Today, I'm really wanting to start the expansion in the backfield. As you see, I have the plow on the 6300, but we will be looking to sell this plow. I'm going to be getting a little bit bigger of a plow. I believe it's here. Yes, yeah, chisel plow. It's 130 horse. It should be fun. It's a little bit bigger. And it's more of a conventional sizing, similar to a cultivator, size-wise. We'll buy that right now. While this is, well, a conventional plow size, and that's more like a cultivator. It's just easier for me to be able to get a straight line. I know doing this was not the easiest, personally. I made quite a few mistakes on it. So I'm hoping to not make those same mistakes. You'll, uh, you'll see my exact plan is in a second on how big it is. I will still have grass though there, mainly because I'm looking to possibly get, you know, chickens, sheep, some animals going. So more passive incomes, you just gotta keep them fed, watered. Similar to greenhouse really, which there's quite a few mushrooms there. Quite a few. I'm thinking by next episode we'll have a big selling session of there's probably easily 20 by then we'll make a lot of money then all right here we are we should see our nice new plow right up there i'm actually not sure how much bigger it is but it looks like a decent amount bigger so we have to open these doors to be able to sell it's usually a better sell price if you sell it right at the store. And since we were already going here to pick up the new plow, it kind of just makes sense. Take the 6300 out so it doesn't get confused. I'll probably fill it up with gas while I'm here too. Diesel. Let's see. Oh, there's no repairing to do. At least I can pay it or pay it that I can actually pay for. Would repainting for 82 bucks to see if it helps. Yeah, it it, it had definitely helped the the sell price. Oh, should turn. Should probably close those doors. They may not like it if I left the doors open. Probably should have mentioned which, which plow this was. This way, any, anybody who is curious is the 55 chisel plow, case IH. It has, you can make it wider too. So in the future, we can definitely make it a little bit wider. I'll have the, the link to the mod Google sheet doc that I have. I'll have a link to it down there for the mod hub. Fifty-five bucks. It's not too bad. We've done done a good amount of work with this. We've made quite a bit of money from it too. Yeah, we'll get back. I'll show you exactly my plan. We'll kind of do the outline. We shouldn't really lose much of the grass field, which eventually the grass field's going to get plowed anyways. Either do a, a herable, harvestable type crop, or to just put grass back in and be able to get a higher yield. One of the two. Haven't, haven't quite decided. We're going to end up mowing it again before then. It looks like it's ready to mow again, so... It, Matter mow it before I plow it up. Otherwise, I'm just mowing under money, basically, or plowing under money. 
All right. We just are getting back. So this is just over double the, the working width of the last one. I quickly checked. The last one was a meter and a half. This is four meters of work for a working width. So this should go much faster. I still have that log there. And it should probably clear up. I might want to move it out of the way. I'm not sure if I'll actually go this far, but... Now let's probably get it closer to the house. I might actually remem remember to bring it down to the store if it's in my way. We'll just bring it right there. So it should be, I'm thinking, bigger than our current field. So it'll be a good sized. I always leave this thing running. <laughs> let's go out about the edge of our land should be about here somewhere in here quickly check the map now we could probably go a little bit farther not much the only thing is we will be doing a bit of a hill in here Let's go ahead. I gotta remember what buttons for the plow. Be from. I'm trying to think. Do I want to go from here? Man, that'll be big. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Let's try to make sure we're doing a straight line. I'll have to correct some of it, I'm sure, because it won't be great. Oh, let's pop that menu down. We're basically going to go from edge of our land to, to, to the edge of our land. Then to about where the rocks are. Uh, this ain't straight at all. <laughs> this might have some troubles going up the hills. That's my only thought. Do about there. Try not to go to the neighbors. I don't think they'd be too happy of us plowing up their land. Yeah, this should be. A very good size. We'll have to leave those rocks in the middle there that's already there. My plan is to go up to about where this rocket was. Come on, let me move you. I probably should have did this beforehand. There we go. About where the rocks are, so actually it's but what the tree was, honestly. I could have just used the tree as the marker. Might have went a little bit too far. It, it doesn't have to be a perfect triangle. It just has to look good. Good enough, I guess. So yeah, we really won't be cutting too much into our grassland, really. I have to go around this. I don't think we do too good of a job of plowing that up. Now I, I gotta try and meet up with mine up there. That might be a little bit tough to turn around in, but with a combine. So I might end up taking that tree maybe down in the future. This is pulling it quite well. So I'm just gonna do the outer bits of it right now. We'll have to time lapse some then. Yeah, it'll be pretty good sized. 
Let's go ahead. I'm going to start this way. I'll, I'll remove this tree. Then we'll have to start the time lapse. So we may not see all of it. You may not see end up seeing every bit of the the field work. I may end up just cutting some of it if it's too long of a time lapse. I don't want it to be a, a two minute time lapse or anything like that. So, yeah, always hit the wrong button for some reason every time. Get this out of the way. There you go. That that center tree will have to stay. I'm I can't really get rid of the rocks, so. So yeah, let's uh let the time lapse commence. Welcome back, everyone. We're just finishing this up. We're kind of just doing the around the rocks and the trees portion. By the most difficult portion of it. Most mundane, slow. I can't really just go in straight lines the whole way. It is, it is what it is. This is looking pretty big. It's not like a massive field by any means. But I would say it's probably both the same size as our current one. With the extension. Might be a little bit bigger. It's hard to say we kind of have a, a rock to go around in, in the center of this. I think we could go a little bit more on the side possibly not sure how much I did a little bit of an extra strip during the time lapse but just oh yeah this is almost done this little portion here This isn't going to be perfect around here, around the edges. This probably isn't the, the best field to almost plant in a sense because of it, but... I almost, while I was, you know, plowing it up, I was thinking, dang, I should have mowed this. I, why, why did I mow this? I, I'm just leaving money. I could go this far out, looks like. Already have a little bit this way, so I would imagine I could go the whole way. Try and stay straight. So, this would be pretty big from here. Looks pretty big. Look at all that open land. 
Someday. Someday we will buy that. Because honestly, that portion there kind of makes sense. That side. It's fairly flat. Could definitely get some more fields in the ground there. Just do this little bit here and... Oh. I hit both buttons. I hit it, I did it again. Whoops. Yeah, we'll have to get this limed here shortly so we can get it planted. I might. Oh, uh, no, that'll be in next month. I don't want to wait too long on fertilizing the soybeans. I thought about maybe I could just wait a little bit until this goes to the next stage. This will be planted probably next at and sown. We'll get this limed. I would say that looks pretty dang good. We'll have to make a road to it. That'll be our next thing. We might make the road down this side, on the right-hand side. This side over here. So I, I, at some point, I'll probably end up having more productions back here. Plus, we already have the road leading back, it, back through here. Or we do the road on both sides. That would kind of make sense, too. Put this back where the other one was. Yeah, liming. I hope I got enough lime left. We go through a lot of it fast. Go through quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it. Uh oh. Whoops. Whoops. Well, we will always remember that area as my mistake. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Let's quickly we'll put the lime on here. As we had as our back weight before. Actually. Oh, I should. Should I go and grab a bucket real quick for this? Let's see how much a, a front loader bucket is. Let's not get... Oh no, I, I installed that mod. Okay. Because I had that one mod that uh, didn't work on certain tools for some reason. I'm not sure why I had it installed, but I did. Yeah, it looks like a thousand. No, 1400. I would say we'd go for it. We're going to need it. Eventually, we're going to end up picking up that lime. Go over here. Uh, where should we put the front loader attachments? For now, let's just put it here. Yeah, we'll take this up there. I could take the logs with, but I think I'll take the few logs I have and trees I cut when I take the mushrooms. We should have... We should have enough lime. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I wonder why it uses so much fuel. Definitely not because I leave it on all the time. Man, we haven't took this drive in this far in a while. Soybeans looking good. Start try and stay on the road. Yeah, I'll just quickly pick up the bucket and then I'll 
Meet you guys right on back here. Just doing it so I can pick up the line mainly, and then I'm sure in the future, cows and whatnot, I could use it for that. So I'm sure there's going to be uses in the future as well. Not just to fix my mistake, hopefully. All right, we're just getting back with our new bucket. Let's uh, fill it up with the lime that I got stored. I put the spreader on the John Deere. I was taking the thumbnail and whatnot, so I got a little bit carried away. Yeah. I, uh, I might want something on the back of this. <laughs> Seems a little bit unstable. It really doesn't fill fill the bucket up all the way, really. We can't put the spreader on the back like we did before. What else could be somewhat heavy that I got stuck back here? There we go. Must have been a little bit in the air in the back. Oh, look, deer. We could do the bale wrapper. I would think that would be somewhat heavy. Of the items that we have, I would think it would be one of the heavier ones. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Can I lower it? That one might... Yeah. We should... Oh. We should be able to make that work. So let's bring the M over here. That way we got a got a refill. A little bit over a refill, really, because I think this is a thousand liters. Like the spreader is nine hundred liters. I could have probably brought the field out here, honestly. I don't know. It might put something else back here. What the heck? Yep, nice fill that. Oh, wait. Taking the screenshot. Whenever I take the screenshot, I always, I always forget to... Well, the thumbnail, I always forget to change it back. The FOV. So this, I always leave my tractors running, man. Probably should have double checked, but I would, I would assume it needs a lime. The other one needed lime right away. Yep. Now this is a pretty wide width, so I'm trying to make sure I'm not ruining it or running out of it. Pretty sure it's just on, right? We just turn it on. Oh, missing some on the edge. There you go. Yeah, we have to fix that a little bit that we missed. Looks like we get just over one full thing. Let's just turn around and fix it a little bit with the little bit that we have left. Yeah, we don't. This shouldn't take too long, really. I ran right out of it. Yeah, I'll quickly show you guys how this works. How to fill it up. I figured out how to do it. I'll lower it to make it a little bit easier for myself. Oh, the tractor's moving again. I think the M must just be haunted, honestly. I haven't had the issue with the, with the John Deere. Oh, oh, she's dancing. Oh, 
Can I get it? Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, I think I should just get a back weight. This, I don't think, is going to work. Yeah. Yeah, I'll cut to having a back weight. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll quickly show you which back weight I'm going to get once I find the weights. What the heck? There we go. So, let's see here. It's 850 kilograms. I really don't know how big of one we need. Well, how much is that sp spreader weigh? 155 kilograms. We probably don't need a huge one then. How much is the bale wrapper? We need something heavier than that. Oh, bale loaders. That's 470. Yeah, let's just grab. This might be the best deal, honestly. Shows there's a fill limit on it. Do I have to fill it up? I could put like lime in it. <laughs> Lime's like the only thing I got. Oh, we could go with the John Deere one and just have the John Deere. Yeah, let's just go with the John Deere one. Maybe this will be too much too. I don't know. We'll use the John Deere one since eventually. Oh. Eventually, the John Deere end up being the front loader tractor. It'll look better. Had to dump it on the ground. Probably should have. I gotta get the bale uh, wrapper back. Oh man. I'll drive on over, pick up the weight. It'll look kind of funny on this tractor because it's green. And then I'll show you how to load the load the lime. All right, we got the weight, looking mighty green. A little bit different from the color color of the tractor. <laughs> kind of kind of nice driving the the M. Haven't really drove it. Like this long of a distance outside of loading the bales in the last episode. Haven't really used it much. Kind of makes you think it, the end is coming. Sad because I really do enjoy it. I, I like I like it. And I hope I would like to be able to find something to be able to keep it long term, but it's clearly not heavy enough to really be a, a suitable. Uh, front load tractor, so I sure you got oh I got a little bit of lime still in there. Look at all the mushrooms we got. Oh that'll be a pretty pretty good price. Make some good money. Good. We've been basically stockpiling them. I think March is a good month for him, so. Let's go and pick up the, the bit I dumped. If I can. I picked up some. Why is it not letting me pick it up? There we go. This weight should work better than the bale wrapper, right? And the answer is yes. No. We just gotta be careful here and line it up, up, up. Line it up. Should be about a full load. We'll go and fill this bucket back up, and then we'll continue on. All right, there, there we go. It's full. This is eighty percent full. <laughs> Didn't quite work like I was hoping, huh? I guess we got to jump back into the M. 
So yeah, I'll probably end up doing some of this alarming off camera. Just because it's not going to be very entertaining to watch me dump a bunch of lime on the ground again. Oh. Oh, she's dancing. She's dancing. Calm down. There we go. There we go. That looks full. It is. Oh, yeah, I lowered it. <laughs> go to this end. We'll do this whole end of it. Might be a little bit farther over. Yeah, I'll probably just do a lot of this off camera. I've shown liming already once. And this is probably going to be even worse than that time. Yeah, well, I'll just finish this up real quick and then. Oh. He says, I just got to keep basically stopping, loading it back up with the front loader. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. I thought we only got two more strips to go. And we're already out. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you right when this is done. Shouldn't be too much. Yeah, we well, don't gotta watch me do this. The watch the pain of loading this all the time. Alright, welcome back. We're just doing this little bit left. We ran out of what was behind the silo, which is good. It's just this little these well, these two small little pieces. We're taking out of the bags again. Do this. Yeah, we go through so much lime doing this. So much lime. That doesn't even count the pieces I miss. <laughs> Yeah, field is looking good. We'll have to plant it next step and so on. Just a little bit here. Probably wasted more than anything else. Now we'll bring this back. I might I'll have to try and get the bale wrapper up straight. I'll do that off camera. Probably is going to end up using a front loader and everything else to get it up straight so I can pick it up. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Oh, uh, yeah. Bye.